Alrighty everyone, welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. My name's Bo and this is the Plum Blossom Puzzle Box. So I recently posted a video on my TikTok and my YouTube channel unboxing two brand new puzzle boxes I recently received. One was a Chinese puzzle box and the other was this Plum Blossom Puzzle Box. And I asked you which one you'd like me to solve first and the overwhelming majority of you said this puzzle box. Awesome choice. This looks incredible. Now like most puzzle boxes, the object for this puzzle box is again to find the hidden compartment but in this case we have an external tool that is provided with the puzzle to allow us to uncover its secrets. Before we jump into today's solve I just wanted to take a quick look at the puzzle box and show you just how beautiful this puzzle box really is. As you can see we've got some laser cut patterns up here it looks like there's some holes which this tool may fit into I'll show you if you can see that there's some holes here that poke through this sort of laser cut piece at the top Around the box has this really beautiful diamond pattern design. There's some writing on each of the sides. This side says, stand proudly in the snow. This side again has that pattern and the other side has a little logo that has the manufacturer's name, Me Toys, right here on the side of the box. So before we jump into the solve video, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, like this video, turn those bell notifications on because you do not want to miss any of the content that's coming out very, very shortly. All right, let's jump into the puzzle solve. So on first inspection and with puzzle boxes, I always like to look for seams or cracks or obvious places where I think uh, a compartment might be hidden. And so on first inspection, I'm seeing that on each of these corners, there are some little seams. And on one corner in particular is this part here that slightly moves, if you can see that, it's sort of starting to move. So I'm thinking that the compartment might be on this side here. Obviously we've been provided with this little tool. It's like a little bamboo wooden stick. And it seems to me as though it'd be logical for it to fit in these cracks here and into these holes where I think this plate might be able to slide. So I think that's gonna be the first move. Oh, this compartment moves as well. Hear that? See that as well? It's sort of starting to come away from the box. All right, so I have a feeling that this might be the compartment under here, but where we currently are, it's sort of locked into place. I'm just gonna zoom you out a bit. There we go. All right, so let's see what we can do here. All right, so this definitely moves up the top here. It looks like it's probably gonna be held in by some grooves. My thinking is that this bottom plate is probably locking in this side that's moving. So I'm gonna see how this moves and... Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So I don't know how well you can see that, but I put this in the front one, front hole here, and I slid to the right and it's definitely shifted something. Oh, yeah, see that? Yeah, so I moved that bottom plate to the right and that top's now come up, which has now, hmm. oh. Cool, so there's one of the compartments. So that bottom piece has just come straight out now that I've moved that top piece up. As you can see here, zoom in. You can see here, uh, there's like some little grooves and it looks like that that back piece was holding that top piece, this, sorry, this bottom piece in. So by releasing that mechanism up, it's allowed this drawer to come out. Now, I don't know whether that's the only compartment. I feel like for such a big box, there's probably something else that needs to shift. So I'm gonna play with this piece again. Just set that to the side. Seems like this side piece is still locked. So I'm wondering if we need to shift something across. Oh no. Oh. See that? I <laughs> just jiggled a little bit. And the whole piece actually comes down. Ah, I see, I see, I see. In here, you can see that this top piece, which had the sort of laser cut pattern at the top. And this is the piece with the holes. It looks like they're just supported in these little slots here. So I'm gonna take these out. Boom. There's the compartment. Oh, that's actually a really beautiful puzzle. I mean, not the hardest, but I really like how there's, you know, use of an external tool. 
if I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't that hard to, to move. I thought there might be more resistance or there might be some sort of internal mechanism that you would specifically need to use this tool for. It looks like you'd probably just use a pen to do the same thing, or in my case, I felt like this piece was actually quite loose, so it wasn't too complicated. But nonetheless, I mean, does this piece fully come out? No. Okay, so this piece here is actually trapped in there, and you can see I'm moving it up and down. It's not moving out. But that's a pretty decent compartment. I mean, you could definitely put like, gee, I don't know, a lens cap in there, uh, maybe a, maybe another puzzle. No, maybe not another puzzle, but you know, it's a cool compartment. I definitely think, you know, you can keep some money in there. I don't know, some hidden messages, whatever you want really. But um, I really like the fact that it's got two compartments. I think that's really cool. If you give this to a friend or someone else to solve, they might think that this is the, the only compartment. And in fact, there's actually another hidden compartment as well. So look, I think that's a really cool puzzle. I think it's, it, it looks really nice. It's definitely a nice piece to have on your shelf. Definitely a really great puzzle to show people who are just getting into puzzles or puzzle boxes. Uh, no, it's not too difficult. Uh, I definitely think you know a great piece to have to your collection. So let's put it back together so we can say it's 100% solved. And then yeah, let's let's chat a bit more about the puzzle. Right, so the puzzle is now officially back together, back in its original position. Like I said, a really nice puzzle box, a really nice piece to display as part of your collection. Not the hardest puzzle, but still a puzzle I'd highly recommend getting. It just looks beautiful. And the fact that it comes with an external tool, that's what really excited me when I first picked this up. I don't really have many puzzles that have use of a quite a clear external tool. Most of the sequential discovery puzzles that I have in my possession are tools that you discover as you solve. So I thought it was really unique that you get a tool from the outset. So yeah, a really nice puzzle, not that difficult, but one I definitely recommend you pick up. If you like this video and you wanna see more puzzle solves or have any recommendations, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'm always open to chatting, so please do leave a comment, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'll see you then.